What's up guys, let's go ahead and get on with this depressing video update. Um, all the fish are doing well. Um, I just turned the lights on too, FYI, um, so nothing will really be completely opened right now. But uh, yeah, the fish are doing really well. Um, there's the hippo, and somewhere in here is the yellow tang there. So I got some... Uh, SPS that are still doing very well. Got plenty of a polyp extension. You can see the one there in the back that uh, bird's nest is gone. This one here is doing well. Got the white lights on, so nothing's really showing nice colors. I got my Akins and my mushrooms, my Recordia. Everything is basically up off of the sand right now, uh, with the exception of a couple. Like they got this Akin here. Um, you know, some of my bigger pieces. Um, th this tank literally has just gone through heck and back. Um, and you'll notice I have a lot less SPS in here, and we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I tested my tank, like, you know, I did a video a couple weeks ago, I think, um, that basically all my SPS were dying, and a lot of people were commenting, telling me I need to ch check my water and do a water change. Um, Obviously, guys, that's like one of my first things I do when something's going wrong is testing my water. Um, but I did it again anyways, and I was showing uh, zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and I was at 5 ppm of nitrate. Did my water change, and I stayed right in the range of the 5 ppm nitrate. Nothing else changed. Um, alkalinity is at 90 kh. Uh, Calcium is at 450, and magnesium is at 1420. So I think uh, a couple things, it's still low nutrient. I've been up in the feeding, um, and I'm wondering too if also it was, I was just hitting these coral with too much light too fast. Um, you can see the lights are pretty close to the surface of the water, and when I first reintroduced the coral back into, the, or not back, into this tank, I had these lights turned all the way up, not thinking that when they were in the coral holding system, the lights were only on about halfway, so I'm thinking that was part of the problem too. And once they started bleaching from that, something took over on them. I don't know. But that Monty Cap is doing okay. It's um, kind of beat up still. The green Slimer has browned out a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. This used to be one of my best pieces. But it's just browned out. The polyps, you know, stay kind of retracted now. It's kind of sad. But um, other than my SPS, everything is doing well. My zooanthids are doing well. I got them all up off of the the um, sand bed as well um, because I'm going to be putting them on this rock here. Whenever I find time to pull this rock out of the tank along with all the zooanthids, I'm going to do it. But, of course, my snails keep knocking some of the zoas down. So just have to keep an eye on them. This mushroom got knocked down. The... Uh, Mini Maxi Carpet and Enemy is on the move, which is it's all right. This is probably one of my. I really like this this uh, this anemone. It's really cool. Fabia is doing awesome still. Um, but yeah, all the anemone once again moved all the way over here. So we got the nem over here now with the clowns. We'll see where it ends up moving this time. It seems to be <laughs> it's, it's so retarded. Seems like every time I move my euphelia away from the anemone, the anemone seems to stretch out towards the euphelia. I moved the euphelia over into this corner, the anemone went this way. I moved the euphelia over here, and now the anemone is stretching this way. I don't get it. I don't know if it's like an attack hormone or <laughs> I just, I don't get it. So, um, <laughs> Toadstool's looking a little sad right now. Um... Yeah, this uh, this monopora here, my Mystic Sunset, the, uh, the tissue necrosis has completely stopped on it, um, up to about where you can see it there. Um, it still does really well, actually. What's left of it, um, still got some pretty good polyp extension, so that's kind of weird, I guess. <laughs> uh, Duncan's aren't opened up. Like I said, just turn the lights on. Another thing I am doing differently is I am only using two of the WP40s now, I'm using that one and this one. This one is turned off and I had a fourth one and it's already out of the tank in, another, in the other room. I gotta pull this one out but it's just a pain in the butt because I gotta get under the stand and 
get all that crap. Um, so yeah, I'm only using the two WP40s now, and um, just my return pump for flowing here. And I gotta say, things are responding well to um, less current. Everything's moving quite well. Nothing's really getting beat up. So, um, you yeah, know, happy with that, I guess. Um, that could have been part of the problem, too, with some of these corals, is they were just getting the flesh knocked right off of them. Um, that Monty Cap is doing okay. It's a bleached out, but we still got polyp extension on it. Um, this big Poslapora up here on the top is doing well, along with the Acro to the right of it. The um, Red Planet is doing well, and the Flashlight Acro just above that to the right is doing well. This nice little colony over here, aside from the part the Anemone beat up, is doing very well. And of course the Pink Lemonade is doing well, and this little E-Flow is doing okay. It looks bleached out there, but um, it's not. I promise you it's not bleached out. Uh, the frog skin just behind that is doing good. Mm, I mean, yeah, most of the SPS that are left in the tank that are still surviving are doing well. You know, I don't know, I'm just trying to get some uh, little close-up shots here because the glass is freaking clean. That's kind of rare. But I figured I needed to get my button gear on this tank because it was getting to the point where I just kind of wanted out of the hobby. Uh, it's always hard, guys, at least for me, when things just start dying in bulk. Here, I'll show you. Look at all these SPS. These are all dead, all my dead SPS. Let's get into some light here. Maybe. Probably just made that worse. But I mean, like, here's my Spongotis. It is dead, completely gone. See this? This is all broken up. I I just threw these all on the bucket, but a lot of these were larger colonies. This was a uh, um, Aura Stylophora, purple, dead. This was my Langsai Monty Cap, dead. I mean, just so many corals are dead. I had my Aura Greens Bird's Nest. This was a big colony, but it's in pieces here now. Uh, what was this one? Oh, that was my. Uh, digitata. This was my forest fire digitata here. This one was the forest fire. So yeah, I mean it's just it's rough. I hate losing things. This was this uh, this was my Satosa. So just a bummer. So yeah, as I was seeing things just rapidly dying in this tank, I was just kind of giving up hope. But I still had my fish and I still had my zoas. I got all these other corals that are doing just fine. So I think for the time being, uh, we're just going to kind of go an LPS dominant tank. I don't really have any softies aside from uh, the uh, toadstool and the star polyps. Everything else in this tank is uh, LPS, everything. Everything's LPS, unless some people consider Zoas softies, I consider them polyps, but whatever. And then I got the mushrooms, of course. But So um, I'll try to keep uh, the corals that are doing better right now, the more hardier ones. But I think everything else I'm going to sell. The green slimer I'm going to probably get rid of. Um, and probably just the acro. Just, I, they're animals, too. So, I mean, I don't want to just keep them to be freaking greedy. So I'll probably get rid of the acro and just, you know. Maybe do a whole bunch of Aikens or something. I don't know. This one, ironically, this bird's nest right here, this Birds of Paradise is looking amazing. I don't know if I can get that to focus very well, but this one's doing great. Oh, excuse me. So, uh, yeah. Excuse me, again. That's pretty much my update, guys. Just wanted to uh, show you what's going on. Um, basically getting the tank on track here. Um, I haven't completely given up on it, but at the same time, I was just kind of like, ah, I'm so done losing things. Put so much hard work into this thing for it to just die. It really sucked seeing all those corals die, because I've had some of them for a long time. So, yeah, anyways, we will catch you in the next update. All right, later.